Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. And thank you again for our time together. It's a beautiful Monday morning. And every Monday morning, I tell you to lift up your head. It's going to be a good week. The goodness and mercy of God is going to follow after you all the days of your life. I am not one of these people that says, thank God it's Friday and oh no, it's Monday. I'm kind of the opposite way. Let's always look forward to the work that God has given us. Let's take pleasure in the work that God has given our hands to do. Right now, let's go back to the book of Exodus chapter 13, beginning with verse 17. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though it was shorter. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by the desert road toward the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of Egypt armed for battle. Now, isn't that fascinating? They went up out of Egypt armed for battle, but God led them in a direction where there would be no battle. Now, I want you to see some principles here. God's path in directing our life is not always logical. Please forgive me. The path that God directs our life on is not always logical, and it is not always the most efficient path that he guides our life on. And the reason for that is he's not interested in the goal being accomplished. He's interested in getting us to the goal. So he has to, in addition to considering the goal and efficiency, he has to consider our hearts. He recognized that if the people got afraid, if the people got discouraged, this whole thing was over. So God, knowing the hearts of people, yes, they were prepared for battle physically, but they weren't prepared for battle in their hearts. So he led them on a much longer, more inefficient route, simply because he understood their hearts. Now, brothers and sisters, many times in life, God leads us in an inefficient path. Sorry, <laughs> I know that offends business people when I say things like that. Your time and motion studies will not work with God. God is not trying to accomplish the most in the least amount of time. God is beyond time. For God, a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is, is as a day. God is beyond the concept of linear time. God loves people. So I want to challenge you today. Rather than be so focused on efficiency, rather than be so focused on your time and motion studies and how to accomplish the most on the least amount of time, understand that when God directs your life, He's looking at your heart He's not looking at your preparations. You're ready for war, you think. He's looking at your heart. He will not lead you on the most efficient route, but he will lead you on the most successful route. 